Okay, the last lesson that you all need to know for unit four is how to write Lewis dot structures or electron dot structures. They were discovered by a scientist named, uh, I forget his name, something something Lewis. He created this. It's actually very, very simple. But in order to understand Lewis dot structures, you first need to understand what valence electrons are. Just a few moments ago, you heard me say valence a few times, and I didn't mean to say it yet because you guys don't know what they are. Valence electrons are electrons on the outermost energy level. Or another way you could phrase that is the highest energy level. So when I, when I was asking you guys earlier, if I look back up here, take a look at sulfur for me. Let's see if you can use, see if you can understand this term and give me the answer I'm looking for. What is the valence level for sulfur? Third, very good. How many valence electrons does sulfur have? Very good. Try again. Nickel, what is, va uh, what is nickel's valence level? Four. Four. And how many valence electrons does it have? Very good. Krypton, what is krypton's valence level? Four. And how many valence electrons does it have? Eight. Polonium. What is polonium's valence level? Six. And how many valence electrons does it have? Six. So when I say valence, I just mean the outermost or the highest. Same, same idea. So again, the energy level with valence electrons is referred to as the valence, you're going to hear me say this a lot throughout the year, valence shell or orbital. You're going to hear me say shell a lot. Like every orbital is a shell. It's a layer. Yeah. Yeah. You only have to do it for S and P combined. Yep. So. You guys just successfully told me as a class, and for those of you who might um, be having a little trouble, I want you to look up at the screen or look up at the periodic table. Let me just, just tell me a few, okay? Uh, I'll give you like four examples. First example, chlorine. You ready? What is chlorine's valence level? No. Three. It's on the third level, you know, one, two, three. And then how many electrons does it have on its valence level? Seven. Now, for someone who said five, you're just looking at this. We, as Aiden just said, it's a combination of S and P. So chlorine is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is chlorine stable? No. Can you tell me what is the valence level for xenon? Five. How many valence electrons does xenon have? Eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, helium. What is helium's valence level? One. And how many valence electrons does it have? Two. And this is a rule. And I, I, a lot of you know, I teach AP Bio five out of six classes. They had to know this kind of stuff. Um, whenever you have the first energy level, you have to have two valence electrons to be stable. That's all you need is two. That's it. So for energy levels two through seven, how many do you need? 
eight. They call this the octet rule. An atom requires eight valence electrons to be stable. But as we all know, there are sometimes exceptions to the rule. What is the exception? What elements are the two exceptions to the octet rule? Not what? Hydrogen is one. What's the other? Helium. Hydrogen and helium are the exam are the exceptions. How many do they need to be stable? You can't be stable with one. They they need two to be stable. Is hydrogen stable by itself, Alex? No, it isn't. How many electrons does hydrogen? You're looking at helium. Hydrogen's over there. Hydrogen, no, no, no. Hydrogen has one. Is it stable by itself? No. How many does helium have? Is it stable by itself? Alex, how many do you need on the first energy level to be stable? Is helium stable? Good. Guys, what do you call this column of all the stable ones on the far right? The normal gases are naturally stable. Everything else isn't. And later in this year, I'll tell you how they become stable. Yes. Does that just mean they aren't very reactive? Yes. Okay, finally, electron dot structures or Lewis dot structures. These are also known as Lewis dot structures. The guy that discovered them was named Lewis. These are very easy. <clears throat> Here's the instruction manual. Write an elements symbol. Who has the closest birthday to today? Who thinks that they're the closest? Who thinks it's when's yours? Yeah. Happy birthday, Alex. What are you, uh, 16? Oh, when are you driving? Hopefully in a few months. Oh boy. So I don't think he can beat today. Um, Alex, I want you to pick any element on the periodic table that your heart desires. Function. Where is that? 74. 74. Okay. Uh, there it is. D block. Six row. Tungsten is a W. In Latin, that it probably has a W in the same. So I want you guys to write W. You then need to draw dots surrounding the symbol that represents the valence electrons. Now, to kind of help you out with this, I'm going to, actually, I, I don't need to do this with you, you guys are capable. How many, uh, what is what is tungsten's highest energy level? It is six. In case you can't see that, here's tungsten's uh, noble gas configuration to kind of speed things up. One, two. Four. Okay, check it out. If you didn't see that, some of you did say six. There you have it, right there. How many valence electrons does tungsten have on its sixth energy level? Two. So here's how you do this. I want you guys to imagine that the symbol W is a clock. And on a face of a clock, you got 12, 3, 6, and 9. I want you to go in that order when you're doing your dots. So the first 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9. So you put your first dot here. That represents a valence electron. How many valence electrons does tungsten have? Two. So you got one, you got two. There it is. 
There's only that's the two rules. That's it. You surround it with valence electrons. I'm going to share with you things I don't want any of the 31 of you to do. And I've seen a lot of stuff. I'm going to show you what not to do, and I want you to do what I do. Okay. So uh, let's try some easier ones. Like earlier, we did chlorine. Chlorine is found on the third energy level, element number 17. How many valence electrons does it have? Is it seven or is it five? It is seven. You have to combine S and P. So here's how you do it. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven valence. Is chlorine stable? No. Let's do another. Hydrogen. How many valence electrons does hydrogen have? One. Done. One valence. Okay. Let me give you a hard one. Iron. Element number 26. How many valence electrons does iron have? Two, you only look at the S block and the P block. Iron completes 4S2. So, one, two, two valence. Yes, because it's 3D. Look, here's iron's notation. I'll, I'll do the noble gas configuration. Argon. 4s2 3d 1 2 3 4 5 6 all of what level is highest 4s2 or 3d6 and how many are on the fourth level you remember how d block is one less than s so iron has two valence okay i want you to do oxygen you do that on your own you have about 30 seconds Keeping up with us, Nick? Yeah. You think you're going to see this on your test tomorrow? Yeah. You better believe it. Um, How many valence electrons does oxygen have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I want you to do carbon. Element number six. How many does it have? Four. One, two, three, four. I want you to do xenon. How many does it have? Eight. Okay, a couple more. I want you to do indium, number 49. How many does it have? One, two, three. The last one found in dancer shampoo, like head and shoulders. Selenium, number 34. How many? Wait, did I have six? Oh, my bad, guys. Yeah, I guess we'll do one more. I meant to do one that has five. My fault. Let's do one more. Uh, pretty much gave it away. I want you to do arsenic. Very, very poisonous. My eyes were a little off. 
Number 33. How many does it have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, your notes are done for this topic, but I want to show you a few things that I don't want you to do. And I have seen a lot of stuff. You guys are not the first chem class I've ever taught. I want to show you a few things I don't want you to do, okay? Watch this. Don't do that. Here's oxygen. One, two, three, four, wait. I've seen that. Don't do that. Um, let's say that you were to do iodine. Iodine has seven. I've seen this. My, it's just totally random stuff. Keep it organized. Think of the face of a clock. 12, 3, 12, 3, 6, 9. 12, 3, 6, 9. Think of it like the face of a clock. I've diagrammed all eight possible outcomes for you. That's how I want them to look. Yeah. Is multiple choice tomorrow or no? Part. This part of it's going to be filling. Right. Where you actually, might, maybe I'll give you boron. You got to do borons, Lewis dot structure, something like that. Okay. That is it for that.